People, let's get with it. We got a show this week to put on. Where's the material? Where's the ideas? Welcome to my ten dollar town. Let's make a movie with this ten bucks I found. Pitch me a story, ideas for sale. Welcome to ten dollar tales. Make it happen. People, let's get with it. We got a show this week to put on. Where's the material? Where's the ideas? Lester Rockwell, founder and president of Windsorwood Movie Studios. Every week, Lester tackles the hard job of sifting through story ideas. I got a great idea. His writers are some of the best in the country. I was at a lingerie option. But there's a problem. You're trying to bankrupt me! Windsorwood Movie Studios is going out of business. Follow me! And it's Lester's job to save his company by budgeting each episode with only $10. Whose idea will make it to air this week? Which of the writers will come up with a $10 tale? taken care of. Uh, that, that's, uh, that I can guarantee. Hey, guess who got lucky this weekend? Uh, you Gil? Two girls, three girls, four, what? Well, not exactly in that way. I was uh, up near the Essex Bog, fulfilling my Krupnik Industries contract, and I finally got those hillbillies to sell two-thirds of their land. What? How'd you get those coots to sell their land? Well, it got a little stagnant, so I took it upon myself to get the ball rolling. So uh, I'm actually going down there today to uh, finalize the, uh, the land deal. How'd you manage that? Well, a month ago, I went up there to meet the surveyors. There is some kind of legend in the local library. I looked through the books, and one of the first pages mentioned the legend of the bog monster. A 200 year old book on the Essex bog. Drew up some propaganda pamphlets saying that the bog monster was spreading around radioactivity and the government was hiding it from them. Convinced them to sell off their land, and next thing you know, most of the town is jumping on the bandwagon. I'm up there signing checks. And uh, they're signing contracts. But there's this one guy. Just so you know that there's a bog monster on your land and the government has been withholding that information from you people here. And Landco Development wants to buy this land off of you before the government steals it from underneath you. Would you uh, consider selling your land? How much money are we talking about here? Well, it'd be substantial compared to the government who you can't trust nowadays, but, but listen, on another note, who owns the land between Wesley Woods and uh, Snake Creek? I'd be Old Man Dewey. This guy's named Old Man Dewey, figures. He owns one third of the land between the two pieces I already bought, so I gotta get it. I've never met him. I'm a little concerned. These old coots, you know, they're money grubbers, they're land grubbers. They, they hang on to this stuff. I'm sure uh, old Gil Foster's gonna make it happen. Ain't no one can deny old Gil Foster. <laughs> Clam Cadiddlebanger, I've known you all my life since you were a little boy. 
I've known your father since he was a little boy. You're not falling for this stuff, are you? That's a lot of bullcrap. You're falling for it? I know what you're saying, Mr. Dewey. But I need the money. And this city man, he's educated. He knows about these kind of things. And I don't trust the government either. I think I saw that monster when I was a boy. This here land has been in your family for over 200 years. This land has been in my family for over 200 years, iron selling. I know what you're saying, Mr. Dewey, but I kind of believe this city guy. You selling this land to this city slicker development guy is like a chicken selling out to Colonel Sanders. Hey, Mr. Dewey, you just don't understand. Get out of here. Take this with you. I don't want to see you again. Go, go. Heels in the money. I'm in the money. Fellas, listen, uh, do you know where I can find an old man Dewey? He was down the road a couple miles. Why? No reason. Thanks. Hey, do any of you guys want to make some money? Yeah! What do we gotta do? Nobody can deny you the sale of their land. You're number one, Gil. Old man Dewey, he'll sell me his land. There ain't no stopping Gil. Development. You're the guy who's been scaring the hell out of the townspeople around here, talking about this bog monster. What's the matter with you, scaring these poor people? Mr. Dewey, I'm sure you're familiar with the legend of the bog monster, but what you don't know is that this is a fact. This is something the government is withholding from you and your townspeople. Now, I've been informing everybody, and you're the only one that's been holding out not selling this land to Landco. Yeah, there's a legend, but the legend is horse manure. There ain't no bog monster. There never was a bog monster here. Never. This is a bunch of, it's a fairy tale. Yeah. Don't you like money, Mr. Dewey? I'm here to help you and your townspeople get rich. I've lived in here in these darn parts for all my life, over 60 years, over 60 years. I never seen no bog monster ever, ever in my whole life. This bog monster's been contaminating your land for over a hundred years and the government is withholding this information from you. So either you are going to sell this land to land code development or the government for a fraction of the price we're willing to offer you. You're scaring everybody. What a bunch of horse manure you're pulling off here. Horse manure. I'll be seeing you. Yeah, yeah, horse manure. I say again, horse manure. I'm in the money, Gil's in the money. Da da ma ma doom dee 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 dee. Ba da da da. I'm out of smokes. Hey, Mr. Gil, what are you guys doing? supposed to be in the bog, draining the bog. Not, not on the perimeter here. I'm not going in there. Man, this bog monster. Bog monster. You know what? Okay, you guys are fired. You're off this land. Get off this land. You owe me some money. 
There you go. Now I want you off. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. I don't care. I'll buy some smokes. Good. Go buy your smokes. You're off this land. Your whole hick town. Off the land. Your whole hick. Your whole hick village. Look Thank you. <laughs> That's good. Getting it the green light. Let's get the budget. Make it happen. Welcome to my ten dollar town. Let's make a movie with the ten bucks I found. Pitch me a story, ideas for sale. Welcome to ten dollar tales. Oh my god, you see it? He curses the monster. Get ready to shoot. Boom! Oh, oh, oh. Jesus fucking H Christ, watch out. Fuck! Be careful. 